What's going on, everybody? We are back with Trade UI, showing you how you can use their Option Insights tool to give yourself a trading edge whenever you find opportunities in the market. So over here on the screen, I am showing you the Option Chain graph for AI, to ticker AI. So what we want to look at here is a few things. First, we want to look at our timeline, which is our DTE, and then we want to look at what we're seeing over here in the data. So there's four different things you see here. One is the call volume in green. The purple right here is the call open interest. Puts are red, and then this violet color is the put open interest. So open interest gives us a lot of speculation to where people think a, a stock is going to go. Now, when you factor in day slow expiration, this gives you a good time frame of when to expect it. So a few things we can consider here. If we're day traders, we can look at 1DT and 8DT. And if you look at both of those, you know it's a huge spike for 31. Now, I'm not saying that AI is going to go to 31 in one trading day. However, with 8 days of expiration, there is a lot of conviction that it looks like people are betting on an earnings beat for AI. And then if you go farther, you got the 15 DT, the 22 DT, big spike for 30 here, the 29. A lot of, lot of variance between 28 all the way to 36. Oh, sorry about that. Let's see here. I think I accidentally hit it. Ah, there we go. Okay. And then, honestly, yeah, we're not going to worry about past 30 days. I really don't care what's going on. Because for me, swing trading, we're going to see what's going on in only a few minutes. So a lot of people are very bullish on AI. And I already have the chart over here drawn up for us. And if we look at the year to day on the shorter time frame, we are setting up for a nice breakout to at least 30 or potentially even $40 a share with earnings coming up. If we were to zoom in, we have this awesome trend to the downside that looks like we're testing very heavily. So we could see another retest at 28. So you might see a little resistance there. But right now we've hit support right here at the 2669 level. And if I zoom in, I'm sorry, the $26 level, so if I zoom in, it looks like we bounced right off that support. We're coming down lower, and it looks like we're about to go to at least $29 right here. So there's a few things we have going for us. Earnings is coming up. The stock is got a little upward momentum for earnings coming out. And what we have here is the earnings chart, not the earnings chart, the option flow graph right here actually tells us that there's a lot of activity for, if we go to 8DT, for 30, 31 dollars a share. That means that there is a lot of speculation that we're gonna see 30 to 31. And when everybody's speculating, that's what tends to happen with the price. So this is a great way that you can find some short-term swing trades as well as some great day trades. Figure out when your earnings are coming up and see what the see how the timeline lines up with that. Um, just something else we'll look at. I'll throw a ticker. Uh, I'm trying to think of a random ticker here. Let's do Visa. So I'll do Visa. All right, so the option activity, we have a lot of activity for that 280 level, which I think we're at that 280 level right now. I'll check on the chart here in a second. But we got an ADT, a lot more negative activity for 260, but a little bullish for 285. If we do 15, 270 is the, high, the winner there. A little bounce at 22 for anywhere from 280 to 270. And then it looks like we got a lot of activity at 275 to 280. So remember, we had some bearish activity and some neutral activity, but not a, not a lot of bullish activity. So if we go here, and I type in Visa, we can see we did break up to 283. So you could look like people are betting on a retracement to that 277 to 275 level. That's a short-term chart. We have a long-term. Yeah, they did break out to a new high. So that 280 is going to be a tough zone. I think they're going to have a retest of the 280, and that's what it looks like that price is touching. But honestly, I think you'll get more benefit at looking at more volatile stocks. So if we go a company like Mara, for example, and then I'm just going to run it. Scan. There we go. All right, so let's look at Mara. The 1DT, we have a lot of activity for 25 even some open interest for 30. That means people are starting to bet on those $30 calls. 8DT, it looks like we have some big pullback to 2150 potentially. But if we go to 15DT, looks like a lot of activity for 25 and 30. And then 22DT, 30 still there, but we got a little bit of bearish activity. And then 
29 DT, so a month out, people are going to think that this is worth at least $30 a share. So for me, looking at this, Mara gave us the clearest direction at 29 days till expiration. So a month from now, what we can do, we can bet that Mara, if you look over here on this chart, is going to go to $30 a share in, least, in at least a month. Remember, we also have the halving coming up in a month. That's why it's important to understand what's going on with your stock and the news that's coming up beforehand because there's a little bit of bullish and bearish activity right before earnings for Mara, so you might have some volatility to the downside, but overall, people are thinking it's going to be worth more than $30 coming up in the Bitcoin halving. So guys, this is just a few simple things that you can look at whenever you look at chain overview. And understand that whenever you click on the Trade UI, click that link in the description below, it'll take you to Trade UI site. You can go right over here to Chain View. And once you click on Chain View, you type in the ticker you want to run, then click Scan, and it's going to populate all this data for you. If you have any questions about the site itself, I feel I really encourage you all to join our Discord. That way, we can answer any questions you might have. We are a growing community, and we just want to make everybody better traders. At the end of the day, guys, it takes understanding tools like this to give yourself a trading edge because you can use this to day trade or swing trade and find the best targets in the market. Guys, we're going to end the video here. Have a great day.